Hey, I have no idea what you're talking about a little bit because I don't have a monitor, so I can't spy <laughs> on you guys. We're making French toast for mom. This is our famous vegetarian vegan food blogger, Jerry James Stone. Hi, Jerry. How's it going? We're going to up the... Up the French toast. We are. Now. We are going to up the French toast. We're going to oh. up it. We're going to add a little boost to it. I, what? Uh, I spiked the batter with what? some triple sec. What? Um, I used some orange zest, some orange juice. This is mom's favorite French toast. <laughs> we got to say hi to your mom, too. Hi, mom. We hope she's, she's feeling better. Right now, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, we have a, a spiked French toast, and we're going to stuff it with a ginger infused. Uh, whipped cream and some orange marmalade. Okay. Now, for me, I usually think as orange marmalade is sort of like, usually older people like orange marmalade and younger people don't, but it's really great. Wait, 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 wait. I was just going to say, I like orange marmalade, and then I just... My mom and all her senior citizens and friends love orange marmalade. Do you make French toast a lot? Yes, I do. Okay, well, so you're going you're gonna to keep an oh, eye on that one. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to build this French toast. So the first thing is the layer of the orange marmalade. Okay. So we have our French toast right here. Okay. I'm just going to scoop that on there. You're not stuffing it, you're actually I'm building it. sandwich things. I, I like this recipe because it's kind of like if a kid wants to make it, minus the alcohol, you know, you yeah. can still make it. It's really easy, it's foolproof. If you yeah. actually want to stuff it, it's a little harder. So, okay. uh, so yeah, just spread out the, the orange marmalade on the toast. And it's really rich, you know. I'm going to top it off with some whipped cream. Is there anything in the whipped cream? There is. I infused it with fresh ginger. So, chopped oh. up some ginger. I uh, got my ginger here, I chopped it up. Uh, just let it sit for about an hour in the uh, whipping cream, okay. and it just gets really nice and gingery. Okay. And you know, it's nice, fresh cut to the, okay. the boozy French toast. I'm just gonna pop on a layer there. How's that one looking over there? We good, all... good, good. Like I said, it's just more of a sandwich type thing. Right. It's easy to make, um, and then we're gonna top it off with that thing. There we go. Are you excited? Okay. Either side. Yeah, I think it's, they're both working. There you go. Yeah. And then, you know, of course, you have to have a little powdered sugar on top. Yummy! So, how often do you make French toast? Really make easy this. to do, huh? Yeah, you gonna make, can you make this one? You can make this, try it out, you wanna try it out? That's easy to do. Okay, we have that, and then we're gonna do another one. Then we put the marmalade on. Yeah, definitely. Okay, and then the whipped cream, just layered it, yeah, and then surprise mom, out. right? Super easy. What, can you use other jams if you don't like the orange? You can, yeah, you can use other jams. You can even use fresh fruit. Like, you know, I mean, fresh raspberries, you know, it's spring, so it's that time of year. Uh, you can use whatever you want. That's the other thing that makes this recipe really easy. Um, but I find that ginger whipped cream is like the best part. You can see it gets all runny and uh, mm, <laughs> right. Good stuff <laughs> there. Side of you and start another one. Okay, well there you go, guys. Some ideas again for Mom's Day, and it's on his blog, JerryJamesStone.com, right? Yes. All yes. right, there you go. So think of some things special for Mom, and just like you know, up the French toast a little bit. <laughs> mm. I love French toast. Okay. My mom makes it way too eggy.